fits like a pulsatil, as we say in Norwegian, and that means that it fits like the skin of a sausage. Don't do as I've done, that was a mess. Not going so good yet, guys. <laughs> Hi, guys. In today's video, I thought I would turn these dungarees into a more boho y dungarees. Uh, I got the inspiration online. I am swamped with uh, with uh, advertisement for uh, bohemian clothing. I love bohemian clothing, but it's very expensive here in Norway, and it's difficult to get hold of. And I don't trust uh, many of the shops that advertise on Instagram and kind of follow me around social media. So I thought I would take the matters into my own hands and paint these trousers. So here's my inspiration. I actually wanted a blue dungaree, but I couldn't get one in my size. Obviously, <laughs> I couldn't get one in white in my size either, because this fits like a Pulsarsin, as we say in Norwegian, and that means that it fits like the skin of a sausage. Uh, it was a bit baggy before the lockdown, so I blame uh, the virus entirely for this. Okay guys, uh, I'll just get started and hope you enjoy. Okay guys, so I am... Um toying with different ideas. This is actually the first time I do any sorts of crafting in my new crafting room and oh my god I can feel this is a long time since I've done. Uh, I have kind of been procrastinating not knowing where to start or what to do but what I have begun doing is and I hope you can see I have begun sketching out what I think I want the dungarees to look like uh, and I made a separate pattern for the the pocket on the front of the jeans. I'm using textile paint. It's it can be expensive. Uh, what you can do is, if you have some good uh, acrylic paint, you can buy some textile medium and and. Um, blend your acrylic paint with that. Uh, I have never done it. I don't know if it works, uh, but I've seen on YouTube that that's another way to do it. I think I'm going to stick with mostly my vintage colors and maybe the yellow from this. I also have this textile uh, I have never tried them so I don't know if they're any good but this is what I have uh, what I'm kind of struggling with now is I can't decide if I want this writing in Norway we have something called Yrsetid that's when our high school students graduate they have a big celebration and they dress up in a, a special kind of uh, overalls which they decorate and what I'm afraid of now when I if I do the text on that it will look like I'm wearing a Russe dress or, or uh, these overalls that they are using so and I can't seem to decide. I have also thought about maybe using the flowery 
uh, ribbon kind of ribbon that I used on my masks, face masks. Yeah. So this is where I'm at right now. I think I'll ask my daughter for her opinion about if I'm going to do the text or not and see what she thinks. I tried to transfer the pattern with uh, this um, uh, is this parchment it's not parchment paper it's what we in Norway make we wrap our uh, lunch in um, you use a pencil and you draw on one side and then the other side and then you lay it on and this doesn't work. Don't do this. Don't do as I've done. That was a mess. Uh, you have to use what we call blue paper. It's not, I don't think copy paper. It's not called that. I don't know what it's called. You know the paper with the blue on the back which you lay between and then you stencil over. I think that's a much better idea. Or if you're great uh, on freehand drawing you do that i'm not so i'll do it this way so not going so good yet guys <laughs> but i'm not giving up uh, so i'm going to start to paint see how that goes My paint is supposed to be this thick. I have the same problem. This is the same paint I used when I made the chairs for this room. Okay guys, that was my 
bohemian dungarees or jeans or overalls or whatever you want to call them all done uh, they didn't quite turn out as I as the picture I had in my head but I thought I think they they uh, turned out pretty cute uh, I will give you a close-up so you will see more closely but yeah I think they turn out pretty cute okay guys I hope you got some ideas uh, it was not easy uh, painting on the white uh, fabric and jeans fabric or dungarees have this kind of stripey pattern in them and that made it difficult to uh, to make the paint go on evenly so it's a bit tricky it's my first time uh, so I'm sure if I do this some more I will get better uh, but it was fun uh, as you saw I will also iron uh, this paint I don't think all te uh, textile paints um, fabric paints is that way but the one I have you have to iron for five minutes after 24 hours of drying to kind of set the paint so I've done that as well uh, hopefully when <laughs> all this virus uh, hell is over uh, they will be uh, more fitting or better fitting I hope uh, and it was difficult not to kind of spill paint on the, the white fabric of course I was a bit pressed for time because I wanted this video out so I painted the whole thing in one day uh, ideally uh, you should let uh, one motif dry before you start on another I think that would be a much smarter process but yeah uh, yes I think it turned out pretty cute happy Canada day to my viewers in Canada and happy 4th of July to my uh, viewers in the US uh, next week I'm going on a holiday uh, with my daughter and my grandson we have rented a cabin in the mountains and I'm going to be gone for the whole week and there's no Wi-Fi there but I will bring my camera and I will make a video just so you know they may not be uh, upload next week but I'll make a video so you will see that later thank you for all your kind comments on my last video you guys are the best if you are new welcome <laughs> I hope you liked the video and I hope you will consider subscribing and hit the notification bell and when you do you have to click all if you're wondering about how you can leave a comment or how you can uh, subscribe you have to have a YouTube channel that for some sounds very serious it's not if you have a Google account and most people do these days um, it's uh, pretty easy to register for uh, a YouTube channel and then you don't have to make any videos uh, I think most of the channels on YouTube don't have any videos but that makes it possible for you to comment and to subscribe and to be notified when we upload new videos okay guys have a wonderful weekend and a wonderful week and I'll see you as soon as I can bye guys Thank you.